Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Harry. And I'm Charlene. And welcome back to Songs and Thongs. Today, we're going to be reacting to Sabaton, No Bullets Fly, animated story video. Let's go! What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. Sabaton is back. Yes. We're happy about it. Yes, um, always. Always, yes, always. <laughs> yes. We have been listening to quite a few Sabaton songs uh -huh. um, on our live streams, but um, yes. Yes, we haven't done the stand. We need one here. Yes. yes. Now, if you are brand new here, please consider subscribing if, if this is the type of content that you enjoy watching. And also, mm -hmm. you know, smash that bell notification button. And then also, if you don't mind, like this video. Yes. All free to do. And um, yeah, it's, it just works. Right. Yes. Now, <laughs> um, also follow us everywhere else. Links yes, all down of the below. Links are in the description. Yes, we have. Uh, there, yes, just there's <laughs> just a lot of links. Follow, follow, <laughs> now, follow. Like we said, we're checking out Sabaton. Yes. No bullets fly. Yes. And um, this was requested by Samuel. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get your surname right. Dave Dave or something like that. I'm sorry if I butchered that. But yes, thank you so much, Samuel. <gasps> Thank you so much. If you want to request a video like this, uh, smash the link at the top there and we'll tell you how to do that yes. thing. Now, without any further ado, let's do this thing. It's December the 20th, 1943, and in the freezing air high above Germany, Second Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown is at the controls of his B-17F, the old pub. At 11.30, approaching the target of the Focke Wolf plant near Bremen, the pub is rocked as four explosions go off right in front of the B-17. Oh, a cry comes across the intercom. We're hit! In the plexiglass nose, a huge hole had been made. An icy cold wind was being blown inside, making freezing conditions for the crew. Engine 2 had been hit, and co-pilot Spencer Pinky Luke let out an expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing. Releasing their bombs over the factory, the crew turned to the north, planning to head over the coast, then turn west for home. With one engine out and engine four now faulty, the pub started to fall back from the formation with another damaged plane. Sam Blackie Blackford in the ball turret watched as it disappeared into a cloud bank. There was an orange flash in the cloud. Bandits, Eggy shouted, as five BF-109s streaked from the cloud bank. Then another cry. Bandits, as eight FW-190s were spotted in formation ahead of the pub. Sergeant Bertram Frenchy Coulomb in the turret shot the 190 out of the sky. The navigator, Al Doc Sadik, took out the second. Pinky reported that engine three had been hit. That left just one engine at full power. The BF-109s attacked the pub from behind, swarming all over. But due to the cold wind running through the pub, most of the guns were frozen. In a what? turn, the pub was repeatedly hit, taking extreme damage hey, hey. and killing the tail gunner. A shell penetrated and exploded near the waste gunners, injuring the crew and creating a huge hole. Okay, the oxygen supply was taken out and the pub spun towards the ground. With the crew unconscious due to lack of oxygen, the B-17 fell for four miles. Charlie what? started to come around and grabbed the controls, pulling back as the plane continued to fall. 5,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet. Just moments from hitting what? the earth, the plane pulled up, almost scraping the trees as it did. Wowzers. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there just for a little bit. Um, holy crap! Uh, yeah. That, it's see, like, I actually got chills. Like yeah. watching that. That was done so very well. It's so well done. Um, and it's, again, I've, I've said this before, we're not big on history. Nope. But I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm going, this is freaking brilliant. Yes. Like, wait, where was this? What happened? And I'm like, that, yes. that's cool. That's crazy. That's, that's something that I really word. dig about yeah. Sabaton. They, they know how to get you, yes. like, Captivated. interested. They ca captivate yeah. you with history. That's it's so phenomenal. damn cool. Yeah. Um, that's actually crazy. Like, you know, just how that plane freaking survived. Like, what is yep. it made out of? Damn, that's Insane. impressive. Anyways, all right. Um, I heard the first couple of notes start there, so um, we're at the song. Yes. Let's see. Freeze as it did. Bombers damage every See wounded men scared to the bone 
my, my gosh. gosh. You should actually put on the subtitles. I should probably do that. Although, okay, you know what the problem is with this? I'm so captivated by the story that I'm trying to, like, follow that and not paying attention to the actual song. It's like, damn it, Harry, focus. I get you, but oh this my is phenomenal. Gosh. Like, his voice sounds, like, even more powerful to me in this song. I don't know. It's like he's... I've always loved I mean, his voice. I really have. He's got have, a powerful voice. But, um, like, I hear more of the, like, emotion... Yeah, what, he's like really, like really freaking giving it. it. It's oh, really cool. dig it. Man, this is so well done. I love the animation. It's yes. so freaking yes, cool. Yes. Shit. Time for day to say no, 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 Very cool riff. Right? Man, this is so well done. Sorry, you know what's going through my brain now? Yes. How freaking like um, torn you have to be? Um, like, man, he's he's technically he's not part of our team. He's like the enemy. Yes. But he's not shooting me down. Yes. You know, he's saluting me. Like, what what are his intentions? Is it to take us down and then capture us and try and gather intelligence from us? Is it to actually help us because they have like respect for us? Still freaking go what? What yes. are his motives? That's got to be so freaking like scary and it's intimidating. <laughs> you just like, what, like the choice? What mm-hmm. decision do you actually make? Like, yep. do you just go, man, we're kind of screwed either way? <laughs> Bless me. you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, we're kind of screwed either way. You know, we're still going. These guys can take us out yes. whenever they want. Do we just go with them and essentially surrender? Do they really want to help us? Man, that's. Oh, I do crazy. not want to be faced crazy, with a decision crazy. like that. Yeah, That's I get you. ridiculous. Oh, man, this is so good. The story was kept secret until 1986, when Brown started the search for the German pilot who had shown mercy on that December day all those years ago. In 1990, Brown received a letter from a man named Stigler, who was living in Canada. Stigler explained that he had been the pilot of the German fighter who had escorted ye old pub. This video is of their first meeting. I've got like goosebumps. I'm I gonna really, start crying right really now. Do. This is so freaking wow. good. It's like, you know, it's it's kind of that you know, show mercy. It's like, yeah, oh, escort you home. It's like, you know, everyone else, like, look what these guys have been yes. through. Yes. You know, let's, let's yeah, let's respect them enough to kind of go, man, you I made think, it this far. 
Yes, I think that's where you can still you deserve see to live. the Sorry. good part of humanity. Yeah. You know, like, it doesn't Jeez. matter. Like, we're all still humans. What? And, like, you still have a heart. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, man, this is just brilliant. I'm not sure I want to play the rest of this. I'm, no, you literally, have to. I'm literally, like, it's fine. borderline tears. This fine. is so freaking good. Fine. All right. What were your feelings when you met again for the first time? I was so happy as we met that I dropped him. How about that? What's the beat? It won't be time. The, the fact that he risked his life really in many ways, and I wrote him in a letter, I said, if you, uh, if you made a habit of feeling sorry for Palmer Cruz flying up <laughs> alongside him, I am sure that you were shot down many times. But it was a not only the audacity that he came up to us and uh, then recognizing the threat. If someone had seen him and reported him, yeah. it could have been a death sentence. Friends gifted Charlie a book, and inside the inscription read, In 1940, I lost my only brother as a night fighter. On the 20th of December, four days before Christmas, I had the chance to save a B-17 from her destruction. A plane so badly damaged, it was a wonder that she was still flying. The pilot, Charlie Brown, is for me as precious as my brother was. Thanks, Charlie. Your brother, Franz. What? In 2008, within a few months of each other, the two firm friends oh. went on their final journey. Franz Stigler never got the Knight's Cross, but as he always said, he got something better. Man, how beautiful <sighs> is that? That's ridiculous. Oh, I would like to thank Sabaton and your song, No Bullets Fly. Because of this, the story of my father will live on. See you on your next concert tour. Safe journey, gentlemen, and again, thank you. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! <sighs> <laughs> That's all kinds of beautiful, man. Man. Freaking sabaton. <laughs> the amount of times that they've gotten us in tears is ridiculous. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean. For good reason, though. Yeah, I want you to talk because I can't. <laughs> it's cool. Um, Man, it's so good. I, I think that's just the thing. Like, it, it's so cool to me that that they really. Um, that they captured this. Yeah. I think. Um, I mean, like you've said it, we are not history people. Like we, no. like we really don't go back into history to check a lot of the things that no. happened. But there's such a lot of awesome stories. Yes. And I think that's the thing that Sabaton kind of brings to life is there's such a lot of um, awesome, still like memories that are yeah. there, and where you can see where, um, like I said that. The fact that humanity kind of came forward again, like yeah. that love, you know, it's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it was his love, and that, like, he kind of felt it that he could have gone the bad way, but he chose not yeah. to. Yeah. And because Man. of that, there's just such an awesome but, story and remembrance yeah. that kind of carries on through the ages, and it always will. Like yeah. this is something that's going to carry on, like, you know, forever. Yeah. Which is so amazing. I and just. It just to add to that like it's not it's not even choosing the bad way it's like choosing, choosing to do your job yes that, that which is to take that like, plane yes, down yes or to show mercy, mercy knowing that you could get the death yeah. sentence yourself for yes. doing that yeah that's ridiculous but i think ridiculous. that is the thing like you know with mercy can now carry on oh like, yeah no this like, topic <laughs> this can carry on forever <laughs> but i think that's the thing like because mercy was shown check what is what has happened like yes yeah. like another spiral thing that had happened yeah where kind heartedness is kind of given yeah and now 
you know, they see it as they were kind of enemies, but they kind of became brothers. Yeah. Which is such a special Man, type that's of thing, awesome. actually. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Samuel, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's just oh, that's so, so freaking good. It really is. It's um, so beautiful. Yeah, I I love, I've said this before, I love how Sabaton has this way of not going against the good guys and the bad guys. No, it was a war that was yes. being fought between you do what these humans and these humans, you, to do. Yes. you know, and they're all of them are just following orders and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing um, and not picking sides or anything like that, just yes. telling this amazing story. And I appreciate that and I love that and it's so freaking cool to me. Um, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, you know, saying it that way, it's like you said, with, with that type of thing, it, there's no, not really a right or a wrong because they're just following yeah. orders. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but in their oh. heart, they still kind of chose to do the merciful thing. And yeah. It's beautiful. I so, love this. we have a bunch of videos to record today. And we decided to start with this. And now we first have to go and freaking wash our faces because Sabaton made us you cry didn't know again. This is gonna happen. No, I didn't know that. It's but fine. You should actually know this from Sabaton. My gosh. Cool. Thanks, Samuel. This was beautiful. Thank I you. So Absolutely freaking loved it. That was brilliant as per usual. And it, like I have to say, like the animated story made it even like a yeah. bit more real. I think it, it did. Thing. Like sometimes. Um, like we have said this on our live streams a couple of times like sometimes we don't want to see the video because it kind of takes away from yeah like from, from the, the actual song because you then you don't focus on the song but in this case it kind of enhanced it just a bit more like you had to see it to kind of yeah get the picture to really get it to kind of get but it. again um it's just I, phenomenal but that being said i can't even comment on anything in this song as a song yeah i would literally have to go and listen to it again apart from the video and just listen to it to yes. really get to really be able to comment on the song because yes. that like i said you're so captivated by the the message and the the video that i like it was a great song yes and his voice was good and the guitars were good but like the it's yeah yeah it's the story Enough, so. yes yeah all right, we're going to leave now. Thanks, Thank you guys, guys so much for watching. Please yep. remember to subscribe, all those beautiful things, and um, yes, we'll catch you in the next one. Thought about this. Love you all. Upness and doubtness. Cheers. Ciao.